Jarvis paddleboards can cost up to $4,500. Unlike conventional made paddleboards, these are handcrafted and made from sustainable materials. Jarvis uses almost no plastics in its boards, which drastically cuts down on non-biodegradable waste. So how does creator Tony Smith craft such durable, eco-friendly paddleboards? One of the big differentiators is the fact that we handcraft each and every board that we make right here in Austin, Texas. Using wood for boards is about as old as surfing itself. The original surfboards were all made of wood. The popular boards you see today are mostly fiberglass and foam. By using a hollow wood core instead of foam, Jarvis is able to eliminate almost 150 liters of foam that would otherwise end up in a landfill. Obviously, we use a lot of different woods, ranging from cedar, maple, cherry, and a few other woods. The wood sort of minimizes the environmental impacts because we don't have to use as much fiberglass and epoxies and some of those things that are harmful to the environment. So by using wood, it's not just cosmetic, it's also structural in nature as well and makes for a little bit of a greener product uh, and we think a little bit of a cooler looking product. The tricky part of all this is like, one, figuring out the machine that could cut these pieces of wood out, and then two, programming the machine. And so that machine was actually purchased from parts and I assembled it to the custom size specs. Those wood components then are all glued and assembled together to make sort of the, the rigid, rough outline and structure of the board. Once that's done, those wood pieces are sort of sanded and shaped down to the final shape of the board that you want to build and, and, and have. Once you have that final shape, the board is laminated and covered in a layer of epoxy resin that keeps it waterproof and protects water from you know, damaging the wood itself. Finally, slots are added for the removable fins. Yeah, so people see our boards and they think, wow, that's so pretty, I, I'm afraid to use it, I'd be afraid to damage it. Um, but in terms of durability, think of it as epoxy over hardwood floors versus epoxy over a styrofoam cooler. And that's kind of the difference between our wooden boards and a plastic board that you may see on the shelf. So yes, it looks pretty, it's possible to scratch it, but in reality, it's a very durable product. He also adds custom designs into the wood of the board. So it's a bunch of, I don't know how many, probably 20 different pieces of interlocking wood. Uh, so each one of those is real piece of wood, so north, south, obviously, just a compass, and then we, just, it was just a pattern that I thought looked cool, and we put in there. I was surprised when, the, you know, someone bought the first one, like, cool, somebody ordered one. Um, but it's been awesome seeing the demand, not just here in Texas, but we ship 95% of our boards and they go all over the country. And seeing customers on social media and emailing us and sharing pictures from their favorite paddling spot, whether it be the ocean or the lakes, it's just been really cool and really rewarding to see you know, customers across the country and across the world making those memories and experiences.